Hey, what's up, guys? It's Bulbous Prime. Today, we're gonna react on My Little Pony, Pitch of His Magic, Season 8, Episode 7, Horseplay. Let's begin. Princess Celestia, I have an idea for your one's bursary. One's My bursary? One's bursary? Yeah. The 1111th year anniversary of when you first raised the sun. Good thing oh. Pinkie Pie reminded us, or we would have forgot to celebrate. You're not the only ones. What did you have in mind? To commemorate your first sunrise, I've written a play. We'd like to perform it at my school of friendship, if you don't mind. <laughs> mind? Oh, of course not. Oh, I think a play is a fantastic idea. Did she just prance? Yeah. Oh, forgive me for getting so excited. It's That's just, what you, you when I was silly, my friends often put on plays. Oh, it was so wonderful. Every pony coming together to create a magical experience to share with others. I've always believed theater brings out the best in us and forges a special bond of friendship. Oh, I didn't know you used to act. Oh, not me. I was always too busy with my magic lessons to be part of any plays myself. But still, it's something I always wished I could experience. And you still can. Princess Celestia, we would be honored if you would be the star of our play. We Wait, would? What? Want me to star in your play? Yeah. yeah. What the heck? When did that happen exactly? If you'll excuse us for a second. Don't you see, Spike? It's perfect. Princess <laughs> Celestia has always wanted to be in a play, and this one's about her. I guess. But how are we supposed to give her directions? She's the ruler of Equestria. Yeah. She's also our friend. Celestia is always kind to every pony. So if we have a chance to finally do something for her, we should. Hmm. Come on. How many times has Celestia helped us, guided us, been a warm, calming voice over our shoulder? Twilight. <laughs> Yes, Princess Celestia? Your invitation is very kind, but are you certain it's wise? I have no acting experience at all. Experience? Shh. You'll be playing yourself, and we'll all help you. Please, it'd mean so much to the students if you were in our show. Well, if you're sure... Yeah, what she said. <laughs> then I would be said. delighted to join your theater troupe. Yes! <laughs> Oh, she's flying like Mary Poppins. Confetti is ready. <laughs> Where are my aqua course, Pinky? How many times have I told you to keep your special effects away from my sets? 327. Oh, unless you just did. Then it's 328. <laughs> I can't believe you've memorized your lines already, Fluttershy. Once you get past terrifying, paralyzing stage fright, the rest is easy. Yeah, you know, like you did. Like Princess Celestia says we can do our play. As soon as she sees these fabulous costumes, all she'll be able to say is, Bravo! Heads up! Here comes our answer! <laughs> Wonderful news, every pony! Yeehaw! We get to put on our show? Even better. Princess Celestia is gonna be our star. <gasps> yeah, that's how I felt too. <laughs> Celestia? Starring in our play? This is huge! She Super was a huge. little nervous at first, but I told her not to worry. With us helping, it'll all go smooth as silk. What? I must find the silk. If Celestia is going to be in our play, we have to take everything up to the next level. None of these old ideas will do. Hey. Forget my regular party cannon. For Princess Guy's effect, <coughs> we're going to need Big Bertha. Whoa. Pinky. Yeah. That's a big cannon. Our play is going to be amazing. Whoa. Our nation, are y'all getting so starstruck? We've met Princess Celestia before many a times. Those were formal things. Galas, world saving. This is different. Imagine doing sweaty warm ups with a princess, blowing your nose in front of a princess, sitting around just talking with a princess. Yeah, I'm like a princess. princess Peach. You talk to me. Yeah. That's different. You're not a princess, princess. What? Uh, thanks. Celestia wants to what about Princess Peach? The She's a real princess. The have. To give her that, you just need to be yourself. You, you really think so? <laughs> uh, quit fretting. It's only a couple of pals getting together to put on a one's bursary play. What could go wrong? 
Yeah. Places, everypony! We had to rehearse a new day in Equestria! Ahem. <clears throat> Why are you wearing that? Directed, written, and produced by Twilight Sparkle. <clears throat> Page one, act one, scene one. Action! Once upon a time, before Celestia, Equestria was suffering terrible hardships. Raising the sun every morning was so hard, it took five great sorcerers, plus Darth Rose the Bearded, to do it. Mm. And every day, the unicorns helping Stars Rose would use so much magic, they lost their powers forever. Things looked bleak. Soon, Equestria would lose all magic users. Then the land would be covered in darkness for eternity. Oh no. I can't believe how good my play is. The sets, the props, the outfits, they're all great. Yeah, that's and how I felt when I make my videos. But then a student named Celestia discovered she had the power to raise the sun herself without draining her magic. Um that's your cue, Celestia. Oh, right. Of course. <laughs> it is time for a new day in Equestria. What? Um, Speak what? up. Oh, I said, it is time for a new day in Equestria. Sorry, can you say that louder? And your delivery was great. But maybe you should try it a tiny bit louder. Like for the ponies in the back row. Luna louder. Oh, yes, yes, my royal canterlot voice. Thank you for the reminder, Twilight. It is time for a new day in Equestria. Oh, I know what worst oh, royal scream is. Celestia or Luna's. But my apologies. I'm still learning to hone my craft. No, no, you're doing fine. Why don't we try it one more time? Just like you're talking to me. It is time for a new day in Equestria. We well, gotta do it without looking. Energy. Yeah, without looking. It's time for a new day in Equestria! Little hyper. Uh, Less hyper. How is that? Uh, honestly? Nope. It's great! Wow! It's hard to believe you've never done this before. Let's move on to the dance number! Dance? Again! Step, buck, leap, touch! Again! Step, buck, leap, touch! What the? <gasps> Ow. Oh dear. I think we have a problem. Yeah, our reactors is a disaster. Uh oh. <laughs> what are we gonna do? If I tell Celestia she's terrible, it'll hurt her feelings. Yeah. She'll be a bad friend. But if I keep her in the show, she'll be the laughing stock of Equestria, and I'll be a worse friend. You yeah. need to tell Celestia the truth, Twilight. Any other suggestions? Why don't we just cancel the show? Cancel. Real suggestions? No, think about it. Right now, most of Equestria doesn't even know we're doing a one's verse replay. If we shut it down, no pony will ever miss it. Yeah. So they'll never find out Princess Celestia is a bad actress. Yeah. And she won't be embarrassed. Mm hmm. That's the perfect plan. All right. I just finished telling everybody to come to our play. You Rainbow. Did. Yeah. You idiot. You should have seen how excited they got when they found out Celestia was in it. They said they'd tell their friends, and then their friends would tell their friends. Every pony in Equestria is going to see this thing. Oh, no. Uh, did I miss something? Just a bright light of hope being snuffed. But that's okay. If we can't cancel the show, I know what I have to do. What? Be honest with Celestia and give the lead role to some pony else? Not a chance. Twilight. You know truth is a huge part of friendship. I mean, and you are the element of honesty, Applejack. True. Look, I promised Celestia that this time she could be a part of the play, instead of just watching it. And I plan to keep that promise. Yeah. But how? She'll find you something else. give me acting lessons? No, 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 no. More like a special workshop with other actors. To take your performance from good to flawless. Thank you so much, Twilight. This 
is what I always knew theater must be about. That special stage pony bond of shared trust and honesty. Yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> Princess Celestia, meet Method Mare performers on stage and Raspberry Beret. Oh, Beck, pleasure, your majesty. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> If there's anything I can do to become a better equestrian thespian, I will. What do you have planned? Well, I always thought we'd make it up as we go along. Uh, otherwise known as improvisation. Yes, and we can start as soon as we get out of this box. <laughs> Are there mimes? If they're what? mimes, where's the makeup? Box. And they're black and white shirts. How's it going over here? That sun will never rise again. It's broken. That's why I have something even better. What? Oh, it's a, a perfect substitute. A giant balloon? It was the perfect substitute. Oh, man. <sighs> Please give me something to be happy about. Let's try visualization and your skiing. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, it's so snowy today. Good. I'm Mr. Mime, chilly. the worst. Should I get you a blanket? All aboard! The Ponyville Express is leaving the station. Whoosh, whoosh. <coughs> 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 A marshmallow. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, what? Ooh. What? It's realistic. The sun is just like a burning marshmallow. Ew. Why did I didn't you know you could do that. The simplest acting exercise they could think of. A game of charades. A transformer. I tried this in a ghost. Oh, I give up. What? A pirate. My love for Equestria and all the ponies in it. Twilight, you felt what I was emoting, didn't you? No. Yeah! Oh, that's the best acting we've seen all day. <laughs> oh, Luna's there too? And Fluttery and I tried, Fancy I tried, Pants? And tried. But we have to face facts. We can't make Celestia an actress. So there's only one thing to do. What? Tell her the truth, finally? No. No, AJ. Oh. So shut your mouth. I've written a script to give Celestia a more artistic charge with no lines. And to make sure this show's a hit, I've whipped up the thick, flashiest fake sun. What? <gasps> oh, fireworks uh, in a ball. That looks unsafe. Yeah. Why would I test his magic fireworks that I bought in a back alley from Trixie at midnight? Wait, what? Go <laughs> away. Uh oh. Dang. <laughs> was a bad actress. Why didn't you tell me? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to insult your acting. It's just, uh, I got so stressed. But that's no excuse for what I said. You have every right to be upset with me. I'm not upset because you insulted my acting. You're not? I'm upset because in all the time we've known each other, I thought I'd taught you about the importance of friendship, trust, and honesty. But Princess. Wait! No! You can't fly away now! Look! Pony 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Can I do a good job of advertising for this thing or what? No, you didn't, you idiot. Sorry. We can't put on a show with no lead actress. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We'll figure out a way to sell this thing till you get back. Alright. Good luck. No pony's gonna volunteer to try to tame that. No pony, indeed. Or a dragon. So who likes juggling? So likes juggling. Please wait. Can we talk? I'm afraid I haven't much to say, Twilight. All right then. Just listen. You've guided me since I was a filly. You've given me knowledge and advice and friendship. Just once, I wanted to be able to give something back to you. I know what I did was wrong. I should have told you the truth, but I promised you could be in our play. I had to make it work. Nothing would make me feel worse than knowing I disappointed you. You really mean that? Of course! I look up to you more than any pony I've ever met. I hate to let you down. Like I did. <clears throat> you had good intentions, Twilight. But you know that the truth is always better than a well-meant lie. Didn't Applejack remind you? Because she is the element of honesty. Times. And now, because I didn't listen to her, I ruined your whole one's versary. Well, I don't know about that. Isn't there an old saying, the show must go on? There may be a way for us to save the play yet. But how? I mean, if I'm being completely honest, you're not an actress. No, but I am a princess. <clears throat> Where did everyone get tomatoes? Ew. Bad news. This play is officially a disaster. Fortunately, I know a thing or two about how to deal with those. You came back! Yes, but let's celebrate later. Right now, we have a show to do. But, but, but how? The audience is about to riot! We have no backdrop, and our lead actress is... No longer in that role. Rarity, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Twilight, go calm the audience. Let them know the play will start in just a minute. <coughs> Rainbow Dash, bring us some clouds and place them behind the stage. There, that's our new backdrop. Starlight, do you have a copy of the script? Spike, you narrate the play. Nice. Fluttershy will be our new man. <coughs> me? Playing you? Will you watch me playing you? Oh no, oh no. I don't think Spike is coming back. <laughs> Visualize with me. You're a princess. Regal. Commanding. Confident. Feel the rising sun's warmth. <coughs> Equestria needs you. Once upon a time, before Celestia, Equestria was suffering terrible hardship. Raising the sun every morning was so hard that it took five unicorn sorcerers, Lux, Darth, Will, the Bearded, to do it. <laughs> you call those great sorcerers? <laughs> no, hecklers, what can we do? Spike, <clears throat> improvise. Yes. And uh, raising the sun each day was super dreaming. But you can see that for yourselves, right? I mean, do these guys look beat up or what? Star Swirl's so stressed, he's got kinks in his horn. <laughs> but that's okay, because it turns out Celestia has a special power to raise the sun all by herself. It's time for a new day in Equestria. In all the commotion, we forgot we don't have a son. What do we do? We play charades.
Judging by how many Both. flowers the audience threw, it seems our play was a success. I just feel bad you never got a chance to actually be in it. You shouldn't. I never felt I had to be on stage to be a part of the show. All I ever wanted was to share an honest bond of creativity, artistry, and happiness with my friends. And that's exactly what I got to do. Thank you for saving our play, Princess Celestia. You're welcome, Twilight. But from now on, none of you will have to call me Princess anymore. Huh? What? Wait, what? You don't? No. I had so much fun tonight, I've decided to give up my crown, step down from the throne, and devote all of my time to the theater. What? Gotcha. Maybe I'm not such a bad actress after all. <laughs> no, you are not at all. You are not a bad actress. So anyways, that's my reaction on horseplay. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and smash it. I'll see you guys next time.